Hey everyone, welcome to the second episode of the Around the Campfire podcast. Today I'm joined by George. Hello. And two special guest stars. So present yourselves, okay? Who's here? You go first, Vlad. Hello everyone, I'm, I'm Vlad. I'm uh, uh, one of the programmers for uh, Campfire Games. Oh, is that it? Oh, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, and I guess uh, I'm Luke, and I, I kind of act as some vague, vague advisor. Yeah, he, yeah. he basically and, did what we're doing before. Yeah, <clears throat> poorly. Yeah. My, my <laughs> yeah, so, learn yes, yeah, so uh, they're we, learning from all my mistakes. Yes, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so yeah, Vlad works on a lot of the programming side of the games. So you're working on a lot of battle systems at the moment, aren't you, Vlad? Yes. So like, just the kind of that mechanical side. And then Luke does just kind of help, I basically help, help us along guys, the way. Yeah, I basically kick you guys up the arse to try and get you guys organised <laughs> from time to time. Oh yeah, and I, I, I forgot to present myself this time. I'm Chris, if you, if you didn't know already. Okay, yeah, sorry. Uh, so, uh, George, what's the plan for this podcast? What, what are we going to talk about? There's, uh, there's, there's a quick list. Yeah, I've got the list up. So I think we were going to talk about um, some of the stuff we've been working on. So like you briefly mentioned that I've been working on a battle system. I, uh, yeah. I, I, as you saw, I recently made the, uh, the dialogue system for our game, which uh, seems Ooh. to be working. And then we were going to showcase some of that. Also, we're going to talk about some of the news in the uh, games industry. There's, yeah. there's quite a bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, awesome. Everyone's any, talked any... about cyberpunk. Is yeah, has there been any positive news thing. this week? Mm. <laughs> how, many, how many delays is this now? Like the third one? <laughs> Four, maybe? Yeah, the fourth uh, delay. Fourth delay. Then, <laughs> other than that, um, the, the community, que- that community questions, yep. we can answer some of them. People ask them in the, uh, in the server. And yeah, just yeah. random, uh, random chat, random, random banter. I suppose it's all the good stuff. Banter, yeah, oh, banter. I love banter. So that's an old it's my favourite segment. We do like banter. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, so yeah, uh, so Vlad, because you're here as a pro- as a, as a programmer guy, what do you have any specific things that you want to talk about the game? Because you you also work along the game design the game design side of the game, don't you? So. Do you want to quickly talk about about the game for the for those who don't really know? Because we we haven't really given much detail so far as to what we're actually making. So Vlad, we we kept to us what what our game project is, uh, for this year is. Well, <clears throat> it's basically what we're going to do is a cutesy, uh, a RPG style game for Android. It uh, mm-hmm. will uh, feature 3D graphics and 2D graphics. Uh, yeah. And we are may- aiming to release it by uh, the end of the year. Yeah, so we'll, we'll get more details <laughs> when we are going to launch the trailer. Loose definition yeah. of aim, though. <laughs> <laughs> more or less, no, yeah. it, when, whenever it's done, it'll, it'll, it'll be out. Oh, uh, way, way to really plan things out, Chris. Yeah, it, it will be released <laughs> within the next few few months. It will be released. Are you in charge <laughs> of Cyberpunk by any chance as well? That's what <laughs> It's fine. If, if if we say it'll be released, we we haven't had one delay yet, so we we still have like seven that we can we, we can do it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, on that note, uh, I don't know if George man like because of course this this will be in, in editing afterwards, but I don't know if George managed to pop up some just some random screenshot that we got of, of the game. So uh, maybe I can that, yeah. Um... So maybe you're seeing some pictures of like just a, a, a couple of the the uh, the models art we, we've done so far. So, I'll, uh, I'll make hope that happen. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag you, production that... quality, am I right? Yes. Hey. Uh, power of editing. Future, future George will, will, will make some stuff appear all over the place. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, what, so what do you want to talk about next, George? Uh, I mean, um, I think we're going to talk about... I mean, I can pull up some... Uh, I do have the game. I've got the project running. I can show off some of my... Um, my uh, so what I've been working on. I mean, you won't see it, but the uh, I can share it on the uh, on the video. So this is what I've been working on. It's it's the character selection system, but I also uh, had this uh, dialogue system. I'm kind of I've just got it running as a test. But recently, I I was um, making it so it kind of pauses for punctuation. So like it will if you give it a sentence with a comma, it will stop for a, a little bit longer before continuing. Kind of like most dialogue systems work, and then you can. Bit next and uh, and skip, so that's what's uh, that's what's up there at the moment. And then if I just get rid of that, also you can uh, select different characters. Um, so yeah, just a preview. Obviously, it's nothing. Not, the game is actually going to look like that, but that's a preview of what I've been uh, I've been working on. I love it. 
Yeah. <laughs> You'll be able to see it in the video. When I... sounds, sounds, so <laughs> sounds so sophisticated. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, yeah so, th- so that's uh, that, that, that's what I've been doing. Um, have you got anything to show, Chris? Any art? Uh, yeah, I mean... I'll send. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was. Well, when I'll be sending you some some just some screenshots that I mean, you can. If you share. want to share your screen, um, I can. Uh, I can make it bigger. Yeah. Why? Not really. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Well, I, I've, I haven't prepared my desktop. It's it's pretty messy, but I'll, I'll send you a few screenshots that you can either pop up now or just have them appear in in the power of editing. So maybe you guys are are, are looking at what I, what I'm showing George oh, right uh, now. I'll try and put it up. No, I can do this. <laughs> I've got the. Uh, uh, I've got it here. There we go. That's what Chris has been made. This yeah, is so, the, uh, so, what's, what's this? Talk us through it. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, okay. So I mean, let, let me bring it up so I know what I'm actually talking about. <laughs> <laughs> that might be useful. I've been doing the <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So this is a kind of one of the main villages in our game. This will be working as as a hub scene, where so the the player will be able to sell, this is where the player will be able to find the tavern to generate the characters, and it's just it will generally just be your main your main point of your main level point. Um, Vlad, what what is the plans for the for the, for for this hub scene? If you want to explain a, bit, a little bit more. Um, well, the hub scene will uh, mainly have two interactable places. Those will be the tavern where the player can um, hire new party members. Uh, those party members will be randomly generated: uh, their looks, stats, and their class. Also, there, there will be, a, at the moment, an unlockable shop over there that will unlock after the completion of the first chapter. The shop will be selling potions, mostly. Yeah. So that's, yes. uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, obviously, we've got a lot so more art that we're going to have to do before we, uh, <laughs> before we get <laughs> Yeah, so with this, this is all just a work in pro- progress concept, so... I mean, if 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 you want to give some some feedback on what, what we just showed you, then do yeah, please by, by all means. Uh, either, quite either, either per comment on this video or interact with us on Discord. That's where we kind of yeah, join us. Like, definitely already. Yeah, our Discord server, which the link will be somewhere. <laughs> in um, the description, in, right? <laughs> yes, in the description. In the description yeah. and maybe on the screen. Yeah. Who knows? We'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be all over the place. So now, our, our Discord server will be the is the place where you can um, where we'll be interacting with you the most. So if you if if we ha- if I decide if I make a model, I'm like, oh, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I will probably just post it there, and you you guys can give give feedback and that kind of stuff as we yeah. go. It's probably better so. than me shafting it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because so far we have Luke who just says it's bad. <laughs> yeah, because it's, I mean, it's not good enough. It's not, it's not up yeah. to my standards. Uh, <laughs> I kind of seem a bit like you know, like Gordon Ramsay, where he just kind of comes in and just like just starts yelling at us. And uh, no, 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 Luke. Luke is it's just our, that every our time I come Ramsay. in, I'm disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I, I also say it's bad from time to time. <laughs> thank, thank, thank oh, it's like my sous chef. <laughs> <laughs> it makes it better. You know, it's, 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 it's a one, yeah, I'm pushing a, you to be your exactly, best. Exactly. It's, that uh, is all. It's required. All right, so uh, I think our next, uh, our next uh, thing we're going to talk about is um, about like games we've been playing. Maybe like about um, if we've been playing any weird oh. games, like maybe lesser known games that we find interesting or want to just want to talk about. I have uh, played nothing but four played. guys and Hearthstone. <laughs> I still haven't played four guys, so I don't really know much about it. It's, it's oh, infuriatingly it's... fun. Right. <laughs> yep. And I'm infuriatingly bad at it. <laughs> still yet to get a win, but uh, it'll happen yeah. one day. Happen one day. <laughs> in the sense of talking, in, in the sense of, of, of talking about games, um, we, we did have our friend Tony oh, ask, ask, ask about this one behind me. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. What, what is it? What is it? It's a visit. Is it? Is it? It's um, this is push up, bro. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Family friendly podcast, but no. So th- this oh. is Donkey Kong Jungle Beats for the oh, GameCube. Oh, Jungle Beats! I love it. <laughs> so it's 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 a Donkey Kong game that the Nintendo released on the GameCube. Right, right. But you play it with the band, with the bongos. So wow. in the game, it's, it's it's basically a platformer, and you have the left. To move left, you hit the left bongo. To hit move right, to hit the right bongo. And you can also clap to jump. Wow. 
That Nintendo, sounds so unbelievably Nintendo, complicated. Nintendo have released some some weird stuff. Like, mm, but they yeah. have like some of the some of the weirdest controller. I think like they got the they had the, the power glove. That was one. Uh, yeah, the, the NES yeah. Zapper controller. That's a thing. That's yeah, basically the precursor to like the Wii Fit board. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, that's so that. strange. <laughs> and also the, uh, the VR they had. Oh, yeah. This is it. They had an old VR headset as well. Yeah. Like, the Virtual the Boy, right? Yeah, the Virtual Boy. That's it. Yeah. yeah my God. And also, of course, like. Was it, was it the N64 controller? Like the one with the, like the, just the three prongs I'm design? Trying to see mm, very, strange. very strange. Very strange. Very strange. Very uh, strange. I'm gonna find it somewhere else, but yeah, I, I do have an N64 controller somewhere. Oh, wow. this, so the same company decided to create a controller with, with three prongs instead of two because humans have three hands. Yeah. They decided to <laughs> yes, create they a, a bongo to play video games. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Yeah. So I've, I've, I thought I'd answer Taylor's question. He was confused about why his bongos behind me. <laughs> fair enough. I mean, we, we already went through what was behind me last time. So I think it's only fair that you uh, yeah. oh, got a chance what, to uh, discuss. What do I have back here? I've got an wow. original PSP. Not wow. original, the, the oh, yeah. ones. I like hey, I have one just like that. With the battery missing. Cause oh, it's mine's better than that, They fall out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have... yeah, have I played anything else on Steam? I played a bit of golf earlier in the week. I mean, a bit of golf? Yeah, golf for your friends. Oh, with yeah, my one, yeah. With my one friend. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's quite a fun, but extremely, extremely infuriating game. Uh, pretty broken for the most part, even yeah. though it's supposed to be released now. <laughs> finished game, they say, and when they say finished, they mean stuck in development for like five years <laughs> and then that. eventually just released it just like, after they decided they had enough maps pretty so much that'll do just just have that'll that do. <laughs> like they they hadn't updated their physics in about two years they shoved some like fancy animations on it um and then called it released once it got onto console and that was pretty much it it's fine it's gonna change, change, change gonna nothing <laughs> amazing yeah i know i've uh, i recently played another a game um i bought it i think yesterday or maybe the day after um I did, did before uh, days. I can't even remember, but it was called the uh, called the Long Drive, um, and it's oh, it's yeah. kind of a weird game. It's like one of those early access games, but you just like you have a car and you just have to drive, and it's like procedurally generated, and you just keep going oh, and wow. like finding bits to upgrade your car. It, it's it's kind of boring, but kind of fun at the same time. I don't oh, know. It's, it's a it's a it's a weird game, but it's uh it's all right. It's a driving game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's uh, it's made by this, I think the same people that made another game that was quite similar. Or maybe not. No. There was another game just, just quite another driving game. Called, so um, the, called the game studio that made the game made another game. Which I just say was from news. I thought it was made by a uh, same company that made the game called Jalopy, which is uh, oh, quite similar. But, uh, this thing is I've, made by a company it's called Jalopy. I've played Jalopy. I've played it. It's all right. It's uh, isn't it like kind of it's, similar? It's kind of like it's like Soviet or yeah, like, yeah. It's, it's, it kind of reminds me of like Papers Please as well, like mm -hmm. similar sort of thing. Although Steam isn't. Actually showing you. Come on, Steam. There we go. Yeah. Don't yeah. Don't, don't leak your 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 Steam details on the podcast. Oh, they can add me. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, don't so. tell them that. You'll get everyone else. <laughs> um, yeah, so. so the only other game that this company has made is called Turret Syndrome, and it's yeah, a VR I saw game. Yeah, that. <laughs> and it's just basically a first-person tower defense view in like in VR, <laughs> and it looks very unique. <laughs> <laughs> so is that putting? Is that a polite way of? Uh... It's a oh my god, some of the UI is broken. Oh my god, it's so jammy looking. It looks amazing. Oh, I gotta pull this up now. Let me have a look. Yeah. Like in their in their um in their trailer, basically they've got like a wristwatch that just has a plane basically slapped on it that has all the texture, <laughs> the uh, UI texture on it. It looks so broken. Oh my no. god, they're running. <laughs> Jesus that. Christ. Oh no. This reminds me of like. Looks Air control or like, other like yeah. Steam oh my game. god, there's a katana. Air control was a fantastic game. It was not. This... I still got it in my life. <laughs> another one. Oh, I can't even find it. There was another one. Um, slaughtering ground. This is it. This was like removed from Steam because it was so awful. Children. And there was like a big. There's like oh yeah, the store page doesn't even exist anymore. That's how that's how gone it is. Wow, that's amazing. This game, this company only has two games on Steam, and they're both in early access. <laughs> amazing. Well, with Just the amazing. Uh, with the slaughtering ground, there was that thing where um. They tried to sue that journalist Jim Sterling for like millions of dollars. <laughs> really? Yeah. I'll, let me find it. I'll send it. Um, God, uh, Jim Sterling's a strange character, isn't they, he? They, 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 they tried to sue him for like ten billion dollars or something. Was it like defamation it. stuff? Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, but then he um, he was able to uh, 
Yeah, he was able to like you know fight it and uh, and win. Yeah, I remember seeing a video where he basically shat on VR for like <laughs> twenty minutes. <laughs> minutes. It in the server, like, it's awesome. only it's <laughs> like um against disabled people because you you have to be able to walk to you <laughs> half the time. I mean, you have to be fit to use it. <laughs> this, this, uh, this article I found, so I think the, the, the like the video is broken because it's talking about like um Gislaine Maxwell or like Epstein in the picture, but then it's like <laughs> the, the actual article is about the, oh the lawsuit God. against Jim Sterling. This, so this, I don't know. I don't this, know podcast is gonna gonna be, this podcast is going to become political and controversial real quick. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, just talking about the, I mean, uh, talking the about physical and VR. controversial, I had the, I forgot in the in one of my tabs on um, my browser. So I was watching the um, the latest Joe Rogan podcast with Alex Jones, oh, which goodness. is pretty political and controversial. <laughs> The, the, the views of George Arwood and are no representative of Campfire yeah. Games LTD. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just... yeah, moving on. Um... Yeah, I guess. I mean, unless someone's got anything to say about yeah. Jim Sterling, it is, is wonderful. I've watched Jim Sterling for a long time. But... I, I, the only reason I've seen stuff of Jim Sterling is because I watch some other people like dick on him all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I think he is quite funny. Um... But, yeah, yeah funny look at him, right? <laughs> 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 Luke's, no Luke's gonna get no us cancelled. No offense. Yeah. I'm sure you're a wonderful <laughs> person, really. If Jim Sterling is watching this, we we do not hate you. Okay. Next topic. Let's talk about something. <laughs> pick a topic, Chris. Like, you need, uh, I, yeah, I, okay. I've started a new. I've started them all. You pick. You pick one. Well, it's, it's my turn. Okay, is so let's just talk about. Let's just talk about the game industry, actually. It's been... Oh, God, what a mess. <laughs> it's been fun. <laughs> so, um, I mean, I, I guess the biggest news headline we've had so this week is the Cyberpunk delay. Yeah. And the uh, uh, the wonderful talks about uh, crunch time once again that's been brought up. Yeah. Uh, saying how, like, some, what was it, industry. some of the CD Projekt Red guys had had, like, hun- clocked in 100-hour weeks. Yeah. And they're still which, delaying it. Like, what? Which what I calculated, and, like, I couldn't figure out how you can do 100-hour weeks. It's, like, 14 hours a day or something. Oh, it's giving me more than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hundred no? divided by seven is and that's something. If, yeah. That's like well, fourteen I mean, it's, it's point two hours, hours a day. Yeah. The heck? Yeah, it is ridiculous. And the thing is, can you imagine? I mean, I understand. You know, the virus and stuff has probably caused some issues transit mm. from you know yeah, office but... to home. But can you imagine how poorly planned this must have been <laughs> for them to have to work a hundred hour weeks, right, and still have to push the game yeah, back again? I know. I mean, logistical nightmares everywhere. <laughs> That's 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 a hundred hour like if you take if they take if they don't take weekends if they take a weekends that's twenty hours a day, which yeah. I guess is not possible. They would be dead. What? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, so um just just generally what what are your guys' impression on just the whole situation with, with Cyberpunk? So you, you you have the crunch time problem, you have the I mean I think I've, this... I've seen death threats on Twitter. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think that's like, way too far. I think we'll take yeah, it. Like most of this I think at this point is just Really poor management. Yeah. And, so, and then them trying... Because I think they've been trying to push out for what, the Christmas release, right? Because mm. that's kind of the big thing. Um, and I, th- I think what's happened is they've let that get to their head too much. Yeah. They've got it. it must be out by the end of the year, otherwise the, the game's going to be a failure. Uh, so they're just pushing everyone to their limits, and it's just not working. <laughs> Do we know how long it's been in development for? Just generally. Well, they announced it. That original teaser trailer was from 2012. So oh, it's 20, been in the 2012? Works. Yeah, it's been in the works, oh, Cyberpunk, since Jesus at least 2012. Christ. Probably longer, to be honest. That, that's really that's really depressing. Uh, yeah, it, it, I think that because they're not that big of a studio, so I think that's probably why they're struggling so much with like this. Well, yeah, because they were because um, Witcher Three came out what 2050, 2015 yeah, for yeah. Witcher Three. Yeah. I don't know, man. Cyberpunk's got 500 people on it. Mm. That's still. I mean, still I mean maybe they've probably grown. To be fair, I think like when they started out, when it went on that, yeah, like, 2012. I, I imagine uh, it was much smaller. Yeah, but the other question is with with COVID, maybe some people can't actually work, so are people I think have, have to do extra hours from those who can't work. Yeah, I always thought like they just work from home. Like I don't think. Yeah. I think in, in that line of work, it's not really much of an issue. So. Yeah. No, I mean it's yeah. it's always difficult. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I like. I think as Campfire Games, we also we we agreed do not send death threats to, to game developers on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that's like too far. That makes them not want to release the game. They're like, yeah. they're like think, oh, screw you then. Yeah, <laughs> guys, guys are working hard, and I, I know it's it's delayed and that's frustrating, God. but so they've got what another another month put, and a half. They're putting the hours. It's about a month. Or so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They said twenty-one they've, days. They've, no? they've said tenth of December now. Oh, okay, which is. Yeah, just, just since, a, since, the, since yeah. the thing. 
I think there is, there is one benefit though is that it gives you more time to uh, to upgrade your PC because there's a new <laughs> to make sure, new, yeah. uh, new announcements because Nvidia came out with like the their new uh, yeah, you know true. their new RTX cards and oh, AMD yeah. were like no you and then that's such a smooth tra- that's such a yeah. smooth transition George <laughs> thank you yeah, yeah. released the RX six thousand series which is like amazing they, well according to them beats the Nvidia cards for like half the price which is Oof. pretty funny <laughs> goodness sake. Yeah, like the RTX 3090, which is NVIDIA's top one, is £1,400. And then AMD's top one, which is meant to beat it, will be the same. It's only $999, uh, dollars, I think. So, what's, yeah. As, as, our, as our main tech guy, George, what's your opinion on, on NVIDIA, NVIDIA versus AMD cards? Um, are you, you going to uh, gonna try out AMD cards? I, I, I'm curious, too. Um, I think... I've never had an AMD card before. I've only had, like, well, one, like, proper... Uh, like good PC, and I've had that since I was about fifteen, so oh, wow. it's getting on a bit now. Um, so I'm looking to upgrade it, but I don't know. I think like historically, AMD's drivers have been a lot worse um, mm-hmm. than Nvidia's, but like AMD used to be really good, like it's both in both CPU and GPU. Then they kind of like mm. you know they they, they kind of lot they kind of fell really behind and were struggling to keep up. But then you know they obviously came back with Ryzen, and now hopefully they'll come back properly with the uh, yeah six out series because competition is mean... always good. I think we we need more competition um, in this sort of space. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. For sure. I mean, de- definitely isn't like nowadays. There's not much point on the, on the CPU front. There's not much point getting an in Intel, is there? Like, it's uh, not really. Like, I, I think their big, have the... their big thing was that um, yeah, that Intel was like the fastest for gaming because like it's all about Intel had the fastest single thread performance, which games like more than um, because they, they don't usually take advantage of like multi core CPUs very well. But apparently, AMD has managed to make their single thread performance better than Intel's now, which would mean that. Oh, wow. They're the king of um, you know, of everything. If if uh, to be uh, believed, yeah, so that'll be interesting. Yeah. Uh, definitely. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> See, yeah, and like I say, competition's yeah. good. I mean, I'm still using a fourth gen i7, so I'm kind of outdated. This <laughs> I, I, I think I'm on the eighth gen i7. Yeah, I mean, I mean to be honest, between fourth and eighth, not a lot changed. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's all just like came seven. in, and then we were like, uh, and then obviously actually gave him some competition, and Intel were like, oh, okay, we should be doing oh, something no. now. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I hear 10th gen is pretty good, though. For, it's okay, for um, but it's still quite expensive, and they're still stuck on the 14 nanometer process, uh, which they've been which stuck I'll on I'll pretend I, I, I know what that means. <laughs> 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 I, I also know like, hardware the, things. <laughs> <laughs> Can we, we, we need the, a, the, the lower the, the lower the process um, is, the the more power efficient like i believe it's like the the gap between the transistors on the cpu so the shorter that gap the less distance electricity mm. has to travel or something like that that's probably an awful explanation but it's something <laughs> like that basically typically Super duper the, rule, the rule of thumb is the lower it is the better and intel yeah. have been stuck on their current process for like three years um while amd oh, are on wow. like seven nanometer or five nanometer i think i can't remember so um Fair yeah. um really? did you guys talk about the new ifro release stuff last week no, no. Oh, the funny things about them removing, you know, removing the um, the what was it, the bot, the um, adapter, right? Yeah, they just cover the charger anymore. <laughs> yeah, they removed the charger thing, but and they've gone, hey, look, we've got USB to USB C, you know, uh, USB C constantly, and then they've gone, but we're not giving you a new thing to do it. So. Yeah, like unless you've, unless you've got like a MacBook which has USB C, like it's pretty useless. Yeah, because, I know. Yeah, most most oh, like wall D- chargers. Yeah, yeah. Most wall chargers aren't um, aren't USB C, so you have to buy go out yeah. and buy another one, which yeah, just, exactly. just just ruins their <laughs> whole point of I mean, you know, e-waste. Because right? the whole point is they wanted to do like whole eco-friendly stuff, right? To yeah. Reduce the package size and actually fit you know more more iPhones in a box when they ship it and stuff. But the question is, what came first? Was it the eco thing, or was it, oh, hey, we want to we want to remove the box thing so we could do this, yeah, and then yeah. realize they could do an eco friendly message after it? Yeah, but, I mean, to be fair, like if you're gonna have an iPhone 12, you probably already have like wireless chargers and that kind of stuff. Like that's it's, not the point, though. Uh, is it's already catering to a market that probably cause, cause, already equipped. Because Apple have like this thing where their iPhones they support fast charging, but they don't give you a fast charger. Well, they don't give you any <laughs> charger, but <laughs> <laughs> they didn't give you a fast charger. So that meant that like they had this feature that you couldn't use because like unless you had yeah. to put it out and bought another charger. And like, I know about the boxes shrinking. It's quite interesting because I remember the original like iPhone boxes. They used to be so much bigger. Like they they've yeah. just slowly shrunk. Like I've got a picture up here of the. Uh, original box it's like massive and then you compare it to the uh 
the iPhone 12 Pro. Are you, so like, are you, are you going to send on, on the Discord for us like, as well? Oh, I can. I, I, literally <laughs> just, I literally just searched like iPhone original. Pro. Yeah, I I, remember, I know I've seen. Yeah, it. I used to have an original iPhone. I used to have iPhones until I uh, I yeah. dropped mine and then I, uh, I still I have my iPhone and it has been dropped. I, I dropped mine in Smash <laughs> and then my dad gave me his old um his old Android phone that he had. Um, yeah. He upgraded it and then it, and I just after using that I was like oh okay this is way better. Look at all the stuff I like, can yeah. do. I like amazing. iPhone. And then yeah. since then I just I just haven't gone back. Like it's just so much better. Like yeah. I mean I still, you probably all seen yeah. my uh, my folding phone which you know it's like <laughs> Apple can't do this right. <laughs> George's party trick. Yeah. No no no. Um, Apple will Apple will announce that in five years. Oh, and say, it's oh, say it's so I know right. <laughs> I know. No, no, honest, I'm, I'm more surprised the iPhone 12 like they didn't just stop it and go hey we're gonna do a fold phone now we're just gonna yeah there's lots of rumors like it's really yeah, strange it's gonna take it's gonna take them five more years to release it and say yeah. it's new yeah the and the thing is now that they've <laughs> they've kind of established this whole not giving a wall plug charger thing are they going to keep it like they've done with the iPhone like the headphone jack and just never give you one ever yeah yeah probably I which means. <laughs> Literally one day there will be a box where they go, hey, we're not going to give you a cable either, by the way. It's just <laughs> the phone. There's just a phone in a box. Yeah. One, one day and they, then they'll they, get they rid of the, give bo- you the phone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the no, phone they'll just get the rid of the box, right? And they just start throwing iPhones in you know, like a giant container and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. We call this super light packaging. You can't even see it. It's that, <laughs> it's that light. It, it like, is true. That... Johnny Ive doing one of those like, you know, videos where it's like, no. we've managed to refine packaging. It says we have re- we have reinvented the package <laughs> yeah, by removing by packaging. removing it. <laughs> we call it yeah. Apple packaging. Okay. I, I, I pack it. Eco I packaging. I package. <laughs> the I package eco <laughs> and, really and the, saved the environment. Yeah. And the, it's nothing the, to do with us cutting down costs, so we can you know definitely keep it, nothing. So we can actually make that. more profits all the time. Yeah. Yeah. No, dude. One, one day they're, they're going to send you the phone, and then you can buy the packaging as an extra. Oh like, add-on. my god! Can you imagine <laughs> a box accessory? Yeah, you can buy the cardboard. I'd, I'd love to have the box for fifty dollars extra, please. <laughs> they, 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 they'll it they'll do it. If they do that, honestly. Yeah, I know, they, right. Seems they'll, like an they'll, thing to do. they'll put a, 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 um, a Nintendo and then just start setting cardboard. Yeah, they'll um, <laughs> they'll call it the collector's edition because it comes with a box and that's. It. <laughs> uh, uh, I think I think Apple do like this, some of the stuff partly just because it gets like good PR. Oh, not good. Oh yeah, PR no, I think it's all. Like, yeah, I think they made that like that Apple bo- that Apple box, Apple box. Sorry, Apple. Um, uh, what was it? The uh, the photo lab, photo album. It's like a. Two thousand pound like photo album of just Apple. Yeah. Products. Oh, didn't they do um? Didn't they do a lap st- like the Mac stand as well? Yeah. Just they a did the um the bit of plastic. Uh, <laughs> they did the um the stand. It was they released yeah. the Apple monitor and then the stand was a thousand dollar extra. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> er guys. It's like ridiculous. Er. <laughs> But, but but you know that uh, everyone's going to buy it and no one's going to ask any questions. So. Oh, but, but people did like say this is ridiculous, but then they still got them talking about it. I so, know. Yeah, Apple were happy. You know, it's... I mean, but I by yeah. by talking about, about about them here, we're not fixing the issue. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what have we done? We're feeding <laughs> them it. corporate machine. Are we the bad guy? Insane <laughs> <laughs> yeah. stuff. Us, us the, the most amazing podcast ever. Uh, 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 yeah. I'm doing mar- marketing for Apple now. Yeah. We are. Yeah. I'd <laughs> like to. Um, for ourselves. Uh, can we can we make a statement about us? Are we anti Apple as a as a as a company? I, I mean, okay. I, I don't. I don't. I, don't know I, I still I still use my iPhone. To be fair, I, I do like it. But also Apple, what, whatever we say, if you want to sponsor us. We can like your oh, phone. Oh, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't want... I don't our want opinions our are back, malleable so. for money. Yeah. <laughs> our opinions... Uh, no, the, the opinions of Campfire Games are Campfire Games. <laughs> but they can be swayed by sponsors. Um, <laughs> geez, how long have we been going now, George? We've been going almost 30 minutes. Time is irrelevant. Time is irrelevant. Yeah. Time is irrelevant. Yeah. This, is, this is a real podcast. For the, for the conversation yeah, must continue. Exactly. It must go on. The I mean, must go we on. St- in the we, still have, we still have all the community questions to go through. Yeah, well, We've had some of yeah. Should we start doing that? Community questions? Are yeah, the... I mean, unless unless before that anyone's got any other uh, points. Yeah, well, Vla- Vlad hasn't wasn't spoken much. Oh, yeah. Is Vlad still around? Yes. Oh, yeah, oh, lost yeah, program. Yeah. oh, oh wait, yeah. this is a good one. Um, yeah. So, Vlad, what's your uh, favourite kind of potato? <laughs> Mashed potato. Mashed, what, really? Mashed potato. Ooh, what kind of mashed? Is that, is that mashed on its own? Mashed with beans? Mashed with cheese? What, what kind of mashed? Well, sausage yeah. and mash. It's pretty good. Oh, that's good. Well, that's, is this mashed, mashed sandwich? Two pieces of bread mashed. Mashed sandwich. <laughs> what is? That? Is that a French thing? Like, is that actually a thing? Mashed sandwich. 
No, but I'm pretty sure someone did right. it. I've seen some weird things in my time. Yeah. Like, you can oh. just do, and then you'll do what the Scottish do and just deep fry it. <laughs> no, <laughs> deep fry so, everything. Deep so, fried mash sandwich. So, so, so Vlad, def defend mash for us. Why is it so good? I have no idea. What what, okay, so what? If I was to give you a choice between mash and some roast potatoes, you, you're saying you pick mash. And some what? Ma roast potatoes. Uh, roasted. Yeah, you know, the classic yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sunday okay, dinner kind of thing. Yeah. Okay, so what about chips? You're saying you pick mash over chips? Chips as in fries? Or as in yeah, yeah. Oh, for God's sake, fries. Chris. <laughs> what country are we in? <laughs> I don't we know, it's chips. international with we, the internet. Uh, uh, if you're thinking of crisps, we don't call them chips, we call them crisps. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Okay. Yes, I, I was still big mash. Really? Wow. Okay. I, I'd that say mash is. Strange, I'd say mash is my least favorite potato kind. No, I don't I'd like say so, no. Oh, I'd say no. so too. Jack, I'm not a fan of jacket potatoes personally. I, I like, like jacket. jacket I like them with like toppings, like beans and cheese. Is pretty mm. nice. I don't so, sour, sour cream. Own, I, I do it, yeah. Sour cream on your on your jacket potatoes, right, sir? Uh, sour cream. Yeah. yeah. We, we, the, the, I don't think. I, I'm, yeah. I'm not a big fan of mash. I find that mash is like the. I. You know, mash is great when it's done the right. Yeah, but, but mash is, is kind really of... easy. You can make it really creamy, out. can't you? Like you can, yeah, yeah, like yeah. proper buttery, proper. Yeah, yeah. I remember I saw a video of, like the like one of the like chefs for the for the Queen, and he said like how he made like their mashed potato, and he mixed it. He made it like really creamy and mixed it like as a yeah. thing. sugar, <laughs> like all sorts like. Oh, yeah. stop it! Sugar, <laughs> yeah. The Around the Campfire podcast sponsored by potatoes. <laughs> 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 I, got, I got another question, an important question: thick oh, yeah. chips or thin chips? Thin chips, thin chips. I like. I prefer thin, but I don't know, man. It's a thin. Like, thin like chips are costier. I like thick chips. I think. Yeah, I, like um, I like crunchy, crispy chips when they're a bit. Yeah, like, I think as well. that the perfect chip size is like proper chip shot chips. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I I like my like kind of. Saying that, Burger King chips are pretty good. They're a good size. Burger yeah. King I, is pretty good. I like what what I guess you would call a fry, which is just a thin chip. <laughs> I, I like a thin chip. I mean, I do fry, too, so but. This is a correct term. Like, I'm not a fan <laughs> of steak cut. Steak cut can die in yeah. a fire. That's too too wide, you know? Yeah. How, yeah. how, how about curly fries, though? Those are curly fries are good. Curly fries are nice. Oh, curly fries yeah. are confusing. Though. I like hash browns as well. Hash browns are great. Hash brown, I've, I've grown to really appreciate hash browns recently. Yeah, hash browns I'll be nice. honest. I love, I love, I love Ever it. since I started brown. having them in, like, burgers properly, I'm like, oh, oh yeah, actually, burgers, you know what? Yeah. I don't mind them. They're perfectly fine. Hash browns are good. Yeah. Although, I mainly yeah. have them on, like, with breakfast, though, I think. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. No, on, 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 tune into our podcast to get all the information about potatoes and, and what you think about it. Very important. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, I think we could, what are the, I mean, we could probably do a tier list for potatoes if we really Potato wanted. tier list. Oh, yeah. Potato <laughs> tier list. Like, where would you, like, chips would probably be on top, right? Just because they're so I think, universal. I think so, personally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think this calls for us after this podcast recording a separate video to put on, <laughs> on the YouTube of just us going through tier lists yeah. yeah, because the tier list maker and then, doing a tier like list. A, um, it would just go into a rabbit hole of finding out all the different potatoes you can do in the world. Yeah. It's, like, it's, it's too much. There's a lot of things you can do with them. <clears> oh, yeah. Style. yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, there's, oh, potato grand's pretty good. Mm. My God. Oh, I love so, potato so grand. It's where you just, um, you know, shove it in cheese sauce, basically. And right. Um, all right. Creamy. Oh, but, and then they're really soft and it's great. But, but Luke, Luke, I hear your mum eats what potato? Oh God, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's apparently that's apparently an option. So you yeah. can just you could once you you know once you finish peeling your potatoes, you just, can just, just mm, jump on it. Yeah. Mm, snack, <laughs> and then just you know, yeah. chop chop potato. So I, I know someone who um who eats raw, like just raw onion. Like I know someone who eats raw onion. Like they can literally pick up like an onion, like an apple, and just take a bite out of it and just chomp on it like a like, like an apple. It's, also, I don't know how you could do that, honestly. Do, does that make you cry in the same way that cutting an onion makes you cry? Probably. Is it some weird masochism? Probably. Like, uh, it's, uh, I, I can't cut onions. You, you <laughs> kind of get used to it, I think, after a while. Like, it's not as bad. And, and they've got a like, trick, so if you put like a spoon in your mouth, it's meant to help or something like that. I don't actually know if that does help, but it's meant to. <laughs> yeah, have you not seen that? You can put... Like, Tune into our like, podcast to get all the, all the best tips like, about how not crying to an... Well, well, yeah. Are we a gaming? Are we a gaming podcast or a cooking podcast? Well, uh, <laughs> I'm a bit of both. No, yeah. you, you cook on the campfire. You know. but, oh. I wonder if we can get Gordon can... Ramsay here. <laughs> <laughs> if, if Gordon Ramsay, it, Ramsay it definitely wouldn't be PG if he joined. That's for sure. <laughs> you had a way more job with with, with bleeping George. Yeah, I, I, just I just wouldn't bother if it was Gordon Ramsay. He, he's nah. he, everyone knows what he's like. I think he's uh, he's acceptable. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, that's that's his thing. Yeah. yeah. 
So, oh, no. so you, so what's your best? What's your favorite p- p- potato then, George? Don't tell us. My favorite. Number one. Oh. Number one. Do chips count? Like, I do like chips. Um, I, don't, chips. I haven't really tried that many different variations of potato. Like, I do like jackets with with like the correct topping. I think jackets with cheese and beans. Like I said, that's a nice one. Mm. That's good. Uh, Classic. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, that's amazing. Okay. Yeah, good. I mean, you just get me some chip chop chips, man, and I'm, yeah, I'm down. Yeah, chips and I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. Right. What's what's the best topping for your chips though? Is oh, it just is salt. It, just is salt. it oh, just salt? Is, Cheese, salt, curry no, sauce. Just salt. Nothing else. That's all you I, need. I, I like spoons it. loaded. I like spoons loaded oh, with loaded sour chips. cream, yeah. cheese, cheese, and, and bacon. Yeah. bacon. No, that's good. Yeah. But chips, I think, only need salt. Yeah, so, I think they're nice for salt. But I, 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 I do agree with Chris. I do like the uh, extra toppings, definitely. And sour cream is nice. I like sour cream. Are we mayonnaise or, or, or ketchup gang, too? I prefer ketchup. Uh, mayonnaise I, I prefer right. mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is alright, but I prefer ketchup. ketchup I, I like mayonnaise bad. and chicken. That's my favourite combination with mayonnaise, I think. Um, mayonnaise with ketchup with chicken? I don't it's think I've ever had mayonnaise. Pretty common. It's pretty common. If you, if you buy any burger with chicken, like from McDonald's, it comes with mayonnaise. Yeah, which is not necessarily an issue. No, oh, no. you know what? It's, the BLT they were doing was pretty good. Like the bacon, oh, the, the yeah. one with bacon they were doing, that was really good. I enjoyed that because they had um, like barbecue sauce and shit in too. Mm. Oh, tasty! Yeah, we've got a bit distracted. We were going to look for no, the no. Question. Speaking of, you know what? Speaking of McDonald's things, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Luke's taking over the podcast. Yeah, it's, it's, it's now, yeah. it's now, no, no, a, now around the fast food. The absolute be. best thing they released in the last couple months was a triple cheeseburger, my guy. I haven't tried so it. I, I don't go to McDonald's. Oh my god, you do not know what you are missing. I don't know when the last time I've been to McDonald's. Because <laughs> what it is is. So imagine you it's just three burgers and three layers of cheese, right? Yeah. Yeah. And and there's so much cheese in it, it all just melts together nah, and it's dude, just oh it's so good. Nah, dude, the, the 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 best um the best burger I've ever had was in so I was in Korea a few years back and they there's this this place called Lotte 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 Weir, where they do a burger which is a mozzarella in the burger. Right. So it's a burger with a whole mozzarella patty. So like a, <laughs> like, like a, a mozzarella stick but a patty. Then a be- then a beef patty and then bacon and then you you bite it and it does like a sh- this um, stringy thing. It's amazing. Yeah, didn't spoons do a Christmas burger like that? Yeah, we did. We're, it's coming back. Yeah. We're uh, we're, oh, we're, we're not Absolutely sponsored tight. by spoons, although, but pay attention. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> although the, uh, the thing is, um, we're not actually doing any any of the. Um, I, I'm not sure I'm meant to say this, but I heard someone tell me um, oh, we're yeah. not doing any desserts. Uh, any we're Christmas. not connected. Oh, to, there's no fine. Christmas They're desserts. Really Really we're, yeah. we're not connected to spoons in any way. Our no, opinions are own. Not at all. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so that'll be. Um, I, I, I didn't mind the desserts last year. I thought they were right. Um, um, I like the mano d- stack. That was quite. I nice. don't think. I don't think I had anything off the uh, the oh, Christmas menu. Yeah. That was yeah. Good. I don't know. We did some weird things. Um, like we had like. Yeah. Christmas didn't you? Um... <laughs> yeah. Don't, yeah. Don't you have yeah. the, the marshmallow melt? Does oh the marshmallow melt is not coming back. It's not coming back. Yeah. It's not coming back. Oh jeez, that's the only good thing about Christmas. Exactly. Every time, you know what? Every time I order something, it's like you always run out of cranberry sauce. Every but, time. But that's quite. That's funny you should say that because at my pub we we had so much cranberry sauce. We literally had like a giant stack of it, and we had that well, uh, well, well like about we we kept that stack until like four months after Christmas because we didn't sell it. Like we we I think like. Yeah, you know, we just had like we just got sent so much of it for some reason. Like they probably sent us what should have gone to the ones in the commentary. It's probably why they never had any. Yeah, <laughs> like every time I went to like Spongate or something, they just never had it. So they, every it's time so I funny because we had so much. Like, yeah, like, we, we, oh, sorry, mate, you don't have any cranberry sauce now, we, right? We were doing the Christmas meals up until like February, I think, because we, we still had them. We were just trying to get rid of them. We were like, please, have a roast dinner. Like, <laughs> have this turkey. Went all over the place. We talked, we talked about. We talked about potatoes. We talked yeah. about the, uh, spoons, uh, cranberry sauce shortage. The inside, the inside <laughs> knowledge of uh, you know of how spoons work. Yeah. It's very, very fancy. Yeah, it is. Okay, no. So one, one last burger like, that I've tried lately that we need to talk about. Okay. Yeah. So, just not about my, not not only send out to McDonald's. I I, I was from KFC the other day. Ooh. And they have a new double down burger. Yes. Which oh, is yeah. insane because they, 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 there's no bread. It's two pieces of chicken yeah. with bacon and cheese in between. Damn. It's it's honestly <laughs> not as good as it sounds. It's, yeah. it's amazing. It's, I love it. Bit, no, it's fine for it. It's not a burger though. It's just chicken. It's yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like I, I used to have a friend. It's like, um, barbecue burger, sauce, kind of cheese, and bacon in the middle, right? Or some shit like that. Yeah, it? it's just two bit, yeah. two bits of chicken with with uh, barbecue sauce, chicken, and bacon in the middle. Yeah, insane. It's, it's so two, good. Wait, did you say there's chicken in the middle? <laughs> uh, no, it's just chicken everywhere. There's chicken everywhere. There's all chicken. <laughs> chicken, chicken, with it's, more chicken. It's in the name KFC. Yeah. I mean, come on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
Oh my god. Yeah. Is there is there an actual KFC in Kentucky? And is that like the special Kentucky Fried Chicken? Maybe. Well, I've always seen like I, I, there was, I've always seen like the, knockoff KFCs. Like there was um yeah, where yeah, I used to live, the... there was um a place called Ken's Fried Chicken. Oh yeah. <laughs> we 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 were nothing against Ken, Ken's Fried Chicken. <laughs> it's, like, it's probably all right. It's just quite funny. <laughs> Uh, okay, so let's 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 talk about video games a bit more. I guess. Uh, yeah. <laughs> all, right, all, right. <laughs> all community questions. What do, what do we want to do? do we want to talk about any perfect specific subject, or should we start looking at questions that people have sent us? We should look at questions. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll look at questions. Uh, I've got the, uh, the questions. yeah. I'll, these are from I'll, our di- these are from our Discord again. So go join our Discord if you want. All right, right I'll uh, I'll pull up the uh, the thing. It's uh, it's getting a little bit confusing. I'm, I'm not used to this uh, this whole streaming. All right, I'll pull this up. Yeah, yeah George, right. George is the one in charge of the of of the, of, of our of our yeah. recording I'm, I'm stuff. Trying, so. I'm, I'm trying all these, you know, this, all this fancy stuff. It's uh, <laughs> it's getting a bit confusing, but we're right. I've, I've got it up. Um, so, if you have any issues about production, do complain to him. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. um, okay. So, yeah. What, what, what do you want to read out some of the questions we've got? Yeah. So these are the ones that were in the community questions channel. I think there, there were some separate ones in general. After yeah, yeah. We'll go find some of the others as well. Uh, the first question we had was: Will there be any Easter eggs in the game, and do they have any impact on the game? Um, I mean, I guess I can I can answer for what I was saying that. Well, I mean, if there are Easter eggs, we'll, we won't tell you because the point of <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're meant to be found. <laughs> right? You know what you should do. You should say there are Easter eggs, and they're just not. Yeah, great. no, no. There's, there's, there's a very secret Easter egg, but you need yeah. to like go into the source code, and then you need to do like a, a whole. The, the whole game is an ARG. Secretly, it's an ARG. There are going to be thirty-seven <laughs> different Easter eggs. Yeah, there's. It's up to you to find them all. There's yeah. a picture of George's yeah. face somewhere. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I, don't, I won't tell you where. We probably include some some like that. Like, no, I don't know why he asked that because he's he's a um a, a, a COD Zombies player and like COD Zombies has so much so many Easter eggs so he's like. I assume just wants Easter eggs everything and everywhere. <laughs> All right, next okay. question. Uh, Vlad, do you want to read the next question? If if you have the Discord up, is oh. is Vlad around? Vlad's really quiet for me. Is is, is, is quite quiet? quiet. Uh, it's a bit quiet for me too. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. he's already up. Really. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, I'll break. Do you want to read the next question we have on the community questions? Yes. Have you have you decided on the monetization model, full price? Yeah, I purchases. Yes, uh, play demo and unlock or something else. Uh, yes, the the game will have a demo, mm. which will be released soon. And then uh, the demo will include uh, <laughs> basically the first chapter in the game out of five and some other things. And the full game uh, will be uh, you'll have to pay for it. Yeah, some point. <laughs> but it's going to be so. I'm, I, I think what we decided was demo first, um, and then we it's going to be released on what what platform, Brad? Uh, at the moment, Android. And, yeah, uh, uh, maybe iOS. In time, we may do iOS. I mean, after after all we've talked about uh, Apple, mm. Apple on this podcast, <laughs> um, yeah. If Apple wants us to release their games on their platform. I mean, um, yeah. Feel, I thought it was a bit of a pain. Like, it is a very so, big pain. Yeah. So we're gonna have a free demo of us, and then we're gonna have a say. There's no in-app purchases. It'll be a one one-time payment for the full game, right? Yes. Are we yeah. looking at something like two ninety-nine, three ninety-nine, or something like that? Uh, three hundred ninety-nine pounds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 We. <laughs> You can choose between an Xbox, which is <laughs> yeah. an Xbox and our game. Wow. You know what choice is the best. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it'll be £3.99 or £2.99, whatever we decide on the end. Um, and it would be a one-time purchase. We we promise to not put any kind of in-app purchases or like extra extra un- un- unlockables you have to pay for. You'll be, you'll, be, you'll be able to pay for the game and have all the content within the game. Yeah. Wow. So, which we, we care a lot about. So that's, that's, that's our big thing that we... Want to make sure it's it. Um, there's more questions in general. Uh, right, uh, I've, I've found some of them. Um, I don't know if you want me to read okay. out some. Uh, we've got yeah, one. Go on. We've already answered that one about Android and iOS. Um, it would be correct our own soundtracks or use music packs and pre-made ones. Uh, I think. I mean, I'm not 100% sure, but we none of us are, well, from my understanding, very good at creating <laughs> creating music. So mm-hmm. we'll probably we'll probably will be either getting someone to make it for us or. Um, or using pre-made tracks, at least, 
I mean, I don't I'll, know. I'll beatbox the whole soundtrack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we are, unless someone has like hidden uh, hidden knowledge of how to like you know use uh, make music, um, I don't think yeah. we're going to be able to make anything <laughs> anything good. Yeah, so n- none of us are musicians. We don't have a musician in house. Um, I, mean, I, I used but... to play guitar, but that's about it. Oh no, we're gonna. Have a... Is, you've heard it here first. We're gonna have a full walk cover by uh, <laughs> by by Luke and George. What? Because <laughs> Luke, well, Luke, play, Luke, Luke plays the instruments, doesn't he? I I, I mean I can loosely play drums. And there you go. Good enough. I can Fine. strum a guitar. Oh, I can you, I can strum guitars. It's all good. Oh, that's fantastic. You, you yeah, hired we'll, Luke. We'll just play the top. You will just play zero on the top string for the entire thing. And just, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna and be I, great. I, I use the definitely wheel bass that that, that sticks to me over there. Oh no! Yeah no. <laughs> Chris, you've got you've got the bongo drums. Oh yeah, I've got the bo- no. We're we're gonna do the full soundtrack on on Guitar Hero guitars and Donkey oh, Donkey yeah. Jungle oh, Beats for the GameCube. Yeah, 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 so all the you, you, all the soundtrack for the game will be done by us using video game controllers. But 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 no, to, to pop to properly answer the question, uh, we don't know. We'll see. We don't know. <laughs> all right. Uh, <laughs> there's another question here as well: Is uh, when will we start seeing merchandise? Uh, uh, you can go to our, our Teespring right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll I guess a, after... t- no, no, no. You know what? You'll have a T-shirt saying the Great Potato Argument on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If, <laughs> if you want the Great, if you want the Great Potato Argument on a T-shirt, slap a like on yeah. this video. Yeah, I, mean, I think it'll probably be a little while because currently all our artists are busy working on our game, and we don't really want yeah. them. I, don't, I personally don't want well, them to be busy working on T-shirts. Yeah, we've I mean, I guess, game. I guess the important thing to keep in mind is we are going to, if, if we do merch or anything. Um, we'll either end up kickstarting some goodies if we do, uh, or it'll, it'll be after a game is released. Yeah. I mean, so. I think if you're going to do like t-shirts and stuff, Teespring's probably the best, right? Because yeah. you, you yeah. don't have to do any kind of minimum orders for those. Yeah. You just gotta, yeah. get, get them to do it for you. But I mean, I mean, I, I guess it is a ton of demand for the Campfire Games logo on the t-shirt. I mean, yeah, people want it. I mean, it's a pretty nice yeah. logo. Yeah. <clears throat> pretty nice logo. Pretty cool. Um, do like the uh, the ones we've just got it in the top like left corner or something. Yeah. You know, small but, subtle. But cool. I know, yeah, I'd I'd love to do that and it also depends on like if it depends on what we do on monetization as well. So if we decide to do a, a Patreon or Kickstarter or anything in the future, I mean that's that's all just ideas for now. We 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 might have some like, oh if you bought the game within the first month or whatever, here's a lanyard and we'll see we'll see. Why? But it's it's mostly on, it's mostly if if there's a lot of demand then we'll think about it. But yeah. it's not our priority. I yeah, think that's a, yeah, that's a pretty good answer. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, uh, will a cup a... of tea be required? <laughs> a cup of tea is always required. Like, I, I had a cup of tea. You probably saw me drinking it. Right. Oh, yeah. I've still got the uh, yeah. the mug. Yeah. It's wow. From uh, it's from my uh, my old primary school actually. Fun fact. Sheep primary it... school. <laughs> yeah. Was it shit? It, it... <laughs> I did make that joke when I was a lot younger. Yeah. That... <laughs> was it? Yeah. It, it was. It was meh. It was all right. Yeah. I mean, it was quite a while ago. <laughs> Tell us about your primary school, George. This is, this oh. is important information. I mean, it, all right. I mean, it was it was a very small school. It was um, yeah, it was it was like kind of a country school. Like she is a town, um, or, sorry, village actually. So, it's it's a very small, very small village, um, jo- tiny village. George George doxing himself. Well, I don't live there anymore. So. <laughs> I, I, live, I live many 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 miles away from there now. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it was nice. I remember we um, I, I for a little while I lived like literally within walking distance of the uh, of the school, which is pretty cool. Mm. Cause, like most 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 of the time, including now, like I have to drive to go anywhere. So it was pretty cool. I mean, close. I guess as a primary school kid, you weren't expected to drive to school. No, but I, I'd be driven to school. <laughs> <laughs> I remember um, uh, on, I remember once you. I lost my shoe um, and it, it landed in oh. this like farmer's field because like it was it was like a in like the country it was um in the village there was like a big farmer's field like next to the school and then the school itself had like its own field that we could go on to and like play on and then like there was a fence separating like our field and then this like overgrown farmer's field and then we thought it'd be really funny um to like put our shoes half on and then like kick up so our shoes would like fly in the air and see how high it would go it was a great idea but <laughs> there's absolutely nothing that can go wrong with it and um, to make that make things worse, we decided to do it right next to this fence, so you can really see where this is going. Um, and then I, I kicked. I actually, I wasn't even the first one to do it. Someone else did it, and then their shoe went over the fence. And then me being stupid, I thought, "Oh, that won't happen to me." <laughs> and then I did it, and then my shoe ended up over the fence. So then, basically, I obviously had to like walk home um, to see my mum. You know, like with one shoe off, missing. Um, and oh, she was like, that's, what? that's happened to me before. And she was like, what the hell happened? And she was kind of mad. I think my shoes were quite new as well. And then um, 
We basically had to go sneak into this field with like big scary warnings saying like no trespassing um, because we couldn't find anyone to like ask to get our um, to get my shoe back. So we had to like sneak in and like grab oh, my shoe. And then I remember we uh, we found the other kid's shoe as well. And we like threw it back to him. He was still on the other side. And then we started oh, hearing please. like dogs like barking. So we were like, oh no, oh, we're gonna get killed. So we had to like run out like on this like mission, I'm, like suicide I'm, mission I'm, to get, I'm, get I'm my such shoe. A, such as image of George just full on like <laughs> it's me and my mom, like, mission in, mi- mission impossible. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's a, that was a, 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 a cheat mission, some would say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, that, was a, uh, that was a good story. It sounds fun, man. Fantastic story. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I think the final question we had, which is one that uh, some people, most, multiple people, have, have been asking, is what's the first, what's our first game going to be called? Um, and uh, mobile game. Do we know, mobile Vlad? Game. Vlad, do we know? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> Um, Does it have an answer? We, we, we were thinking uh, we should allow the community to choose this. That's a so terrible idea. That's just a bad answer. answer. Yeah, no. So, That's like when, reason. That'll be like when they, um, like the council asked, um, asked like, the, the, the community to name a boat and they called it Boating at Boatface. <laughs> and then they were like, why, why, why did they call it that? Like, that, well, that, that that's that not going to happen. We will give the community a bunch of choices okay that's a better idea oh yeah don't tell them to pick the name of the game <laughs> just yeah. choose a name we like, <laughs> that, like, that would not offensive, end well like <laughs> the most offensive name we, yeah. we can find <laughs> no so we'll, yeah but um we'll, we'll think about the name of a game because we're still we will uh, think developing about it. it we promise so I, 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 I don't it's just a project it will have a name when it launches we can, we uh, can guarantee that not. so you'll never but, have a name is what you're saying <laughs> We, when it, when time comes, we'll, we'll, we will reach out on even on Discord or social medias. Yes. Uh, so that's, I'm going to show Discord again and say, if you if you want to suggest names or if you want to like just interact with us and and as we try and decide the name of a game and that kind of stuff, do go join our Discord, and that's the first place where we'll be asking you guys for help. So hmm. do that. Yes. Join the community. It. Play some games with us if you end up doing anything yeah, on the Discord. Play games. We play lots of games. Well, we play some games. Campfire Gamer um, 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 Among Us, when? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. yeah, yeah, I'm up for that. Still yeah. haven't played it, man. You still haven't played I've it? Got it? No, I've got it. I've got it sitting on my desktop. Like, it's having, it's I haven't so opened it. It's like, it's like the easiest game to pick up and play one game. Like, I just, know. Just play it, man. Just play it. I know. It's not like, quite it's... as easy as four guys. I don't know. It's pretty easy to play. Like, yeah. It's even on mobile, you know. Like, well. We we promise you on the podcast, Luke will play Among Us if what? if George plays four guys. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes. Question yeah. mark. Yeah, if we sure. hit one, if we Why if not? we hit one million likes, Luke, Luke will release an Among Us let's, let's play. Uh-huh. Yeah, <laughs> okay. So was that most of the questions sorted? I or think missed any? I think that's all of them. As always, if there's anything in this podcast that hasn't been answered, just send us messages. Yeah, so we got we got the community questions chat. As you saw, it was. Uh... There wasn't a lot in it, so please add more. <laughs> so um, even on our, even on our Discord yeah. or in like just a comment to this video, we yeah, yeah. we read comments. So p- please give us comments. Please give it lots of. Uh, <laughs> anything. Yeah. Ask anything. Ask anything. Get anything. You can even ask technical <laughs> questions if you're interested. Oh, yeah. let's not. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Vlad will answer them himself. <laughs> Vlad will yeah. Vlad will tell you all the specs of our game. <laughs> I'll send you a special video in your DMs. Just <laughs> oh. a video of Vlad showing you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, or, I mean, that's just an excuse for that to slide into the DMs, you know. <laughs> Hello, good to see you. Hello. Did you see my cord? <laughs> oh my goodness, that's horrific. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, Vlad. <man. laughs> I, 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 I love the idea of Vlad's just date nights. He, 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 <laughs> for, for, for first date night, he just goes, goes up to someone and goes, Hey, hey, let's program. Do you want to see my C++ skills? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Pretty do, you want, do you want to iterate on my for loop? Like that. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't even make sense, it just, just sounds dirty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no offence, man. Yeah, you're, you're alright, man. You seem quite quiet. Glad so quiet, he's I'll a shy boy. Off- offence taken, did you say? Not taken. Oh, okay, oh, good, oh. good. 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 Okay, so, good. So, we're allowed to just have Vlad here where we can just blast him for, as, as a stage card. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, we've been going for about 55 minutes, so I think we should probably wrap this up. Uh, it's been a lot, a lot longer than the other one, but we had, we had a lot more to talk about, I think. 
Is, um, it, is, is anything going to be cut out, or is no. this just raw footage? No, it's, it's going to be pretty much raw. I, I think it's. Uh, I think it's best that way. You know, it's, it's flowed pretty well. <laughs> it's going to be raw. <laughs> what are you doing? What am I doing? Uh, I love what, what, the, what, the, what the heck has this podcast been? Let's just recap what's been discussed. Been. We've talked about. <laughs> we've talked about AMD. We've talked about Apple. We've talked about yeah. Gordon Ramsay a bunch. Potatoes, spoons. Yeah. KFC, Mac- McDonald's. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's pretty, good. It's pretty good. You can't say we, d- we, we don't provide you with diverse con- diverse content. Yeah, very diverse. Lots of variety in the uh, around says, the camera. Says four white males. Yes, diverse content. <laughs> well, we, we, can't, we can't see you. you. You two have got your camera turned off. Like that's oh, yellow sorry. and you're grey. Like, <laughs> that's a that Simpson for we. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess one week we should talk about diversity in the game industry, but that's the that's oh, that's, that's very heavy topic. Yeah, that's, 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 topic. that's not touch on that for now. We could be here for another hour. Yeah. <laughs> we like, talked about crunch time. It's good enough. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Campfire Cam, Games believes that ev- 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 everyone should should ever yes, work to work in the industry. Is equal. Yeah, everyone, everyone, everyone should be equal. Yeah. If you've got the skills, then that's, that's all that matters. That's great. And yeah. that's, that's the message. Yeah. If you don't got the skills, then that's your problem. Get the skills? Yeah. I mean, do any, do any of us have the skills? Um, no, not really, I'm... but we pretend to. We should we should have get get the skills be like the the, the motto of this podcast. <laughs> get the skills. I <laughs> remember get the skills. <laughs> Is that the outro line? Is that nah, it? Nah, <laughs> <this, this, laughs> <New outro. laughs> we should we should wrap up. Um, we should definitely yeah. wrap up. <laughs> it's been we're gonna keep rambling. It's, it's awful. Okay, so George, want to say something or do you want me to wrap up? Uh, you started. I I can wrap up. Uh, yeah. So yeah. All right. Thank you very Beautiful much book. for watching. Uh, this has been around the campfire episode two. Yeah, by the time you see this, it'll be it'll go up on Friday. Um, next time we hope to live stream it. Uh, I don't know if we actually will because I'm at the mercy of my works rotor, but we'll see. So yeah, uh, we'll see Do you guys us. next week. Yeah. Goodbye. Mate. Take Bye. care. Goodbye. Bye.